feel, that's for sure. Just taking chunks out of each other. Yeah, referee oh, calls it, and they, they do they do chill out a little bit, but yeah, I miss on the... Uh, no way does that... He sees it, right? Yeah, he, yeah, he does, he does. Yeah, due to the blue hue of the sentry, it okay. beautifully merges into the gems here. Yeah, smart move there, smart move, hiding it in the gems. Very tactical. On Fiesta for the... For the little guy in the mid lane. Don't know why he's a little guy, just came to mind. Ooh, that, ooh he oh, might even get a Supreme, no, that was... Oh, is it? One more hit for the tower, it's gonna be enough! There we go. A classic, classic yeah. play from the Magnus, and that was sick. This is why mid Magnus is so annoying to play against, right? Like the proximity to towers, Aramis doesn't have the decrep yet, oh, so he's just gonna no. instantly die in the top lane. Seb's in trouble as well. I mean, now they, he's, he's popped this metamorphosis books, and he just might be able oh. to run him down. I mean, they don't really need it, do they? Do they? They, they don't. Okay. Also, I'd be happy about that. I mean, as I said, this is what's always confusing. I feel like sometimes... Oh, bottom lane. They are going to lose the out fight? on no one here. Jesus Christ. It's non-stop, dude. It is non-stop, Merlin. Oh, he's actually in a mud grenade. He's actually going to fall. Kitrak dies as well. It's up in the top <laughs> lane. They actually ended up losing Aramis as Seb comes back into Same it. Same thing for Bob. Getting the kills. And Seb, he's not buying his lonesome. A body block here, a body block there. He probably is going to die. They have Thank crumbled. Ooh, he's got the wand as well. Nande never And he doesn't have trouble. TP as well. <gasps> Moment and start hitting their creeps because, yeah, ITB. They see a hero, they're going, and Aramis in the top. Oh, he's going to use a decrypt fight to stop the Terra Blade from finishing him off. Respect. He's hungry, but he's not going to get it as uh, Merlin does go down in the bottom lane. Okay, track. Okay, track. Might be following. Yep, Jibby finds him. Blasts him down with some more discussion because I know nothing about it. Every point he makes it. Like, wow. Uh, Nande is getting another kill here, I believe, although the disruption does come through with the decrepify. Can they finish the job? I mean, they'll turn their attention towards Aramis. So they say, fine, we'll kill you both. No problem with us. Nande gets in now. Uh, actually, Kitrak joins oh, the, oh. in and that's going to be the damage to bring him down. Oh, is that, is that real? We're seeing Jibe as well. He's going for a slightly, not unconventional build, but it's like the old school build on this, uh, this Winter Wyvern. Yeah. Going for that Witchblade. Basically stacking additional slows onto your Arctic burn. We often see Atos's and just more stat-based gameplay, but yeah, Shibe looking to enter this mid-game with an extra little bit of a uh, fight. It's a lot of damage, but Sensor Shibe's coming out from Shibe Thompson. He's going to be careful and, well, he's going to go down. We'll get amongst it. Oh, wouldn't that be a treat? Easily two or three kills to the name, but yeah, ITB really pushing the limits, knowing how weak OG is right now. Well, that's going to be a dead fall on my screen, and they're going to immediately turning on to Thompson here. Thompson, he's getting some damage off, but not nearly enough. No one trying to fight here with his Aghanim Scepter, but it's not really doing enough. And look at Jibbe just blasting away from the back lines. He's going to be able to bring him down. No one will trade the kill with Merlin, but not worthwhile at all. Oh, it, it's, it's a tough position, and it's looking like it's only going to get tougher. It's uh, just constantly popping out these rules. I mean, it really kind of shows like the position which old you are in at the moment, how they're playing this game. They're just throwing out these rules whenever they can, and it might not even help them survive that. Uh, once again, Nurse Aramis comes in, got to uh, help him out here. And actually, very Nande, awkward. Nande, he does get off that thunder, and in comes Respect from the sideline as well. No one, he's now the one in trouble. What a turnaround from ITB, and now they're going to look for more. Aramis and Seb being chased back here by Supreme, but Supreme, well, he's going to get on top of the Pugna here. Pugna going for the big suck, though, and Supreme just has to back himself away, and uh, we'll let the Pugna heal himself up all the way. He does not care about Manta or BKB or anything. He really is playing for the moment. Man, I, mean, I can respect that against this PL, right? Like he's, they've identified a window. Oops, like when I'm seeing us click around all the Radiant Heroes and they're not getting incredible items, but they're progressing the game. They're getting something. Yeah, but Meta's up now. Let's see what they can do with it. But that's that tech. He's being jumped for the moment of respect. Doesn't have a way out of this. And Merlin got to cancel a charge, but they've got they the dust protection. down. They're just going to be able to kill him off. And Supreme's, and Supreme's died top. Also top and dead. He just died to Harpoon Man to RP and a click here and a click there. They, they've they just died three heroes. They Aren't just they? Oh, the little friends. The little friends are getting him. This is where Nando's build will absolutely bite him in the butt. Yeah, pretty much. And look at no one. He's not even in the neighborhood. He's like, I don't want to risk being Sundered. That sounds that sounds terrible for me. And now Sundered's down. He's going to get involved. Just start whacking away. I mean, the guy is just a beefcake. But Jibe, unfortunately. Oh, they killed the illusion. You know, wait, what? Oh, he's on illusion. <laughs> They've crumbled. They've crumbled. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Nande trying to run away, but there is nowhere to run. There is no. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't matter, wait. Look at the right hand side of the screen treat it like a death prophet like every time you have your exo your meta it's progressing an objective on the map it can be scary but 
It needs to be consistent. Go on. Bash from Shadowblade. Oh, coward. Coward Merlin. Does get the bash to follow up, though, Seb. He's going to kill off the uh, one mine. Now it moves over, looking towards respect, but uh, Thompson's in. The damage comes through. Shibay's there, though, controls him up, and he's got a ton of damage with the Tagnum Scepter as well, so they're going to be able to half health him, and now he comes out the other side, and Nande... The up, the up, the up, he's there! He's not dead! And now Thompson going forward, looking for more. This man has no breaks. He could have got away, but instead, he's going to lead his team some more kills. Thompson, though, uh, being dead means they can turn their attention towards Seb instead, but look who's here. No one turns up, but Supreme doing a good amount of damage to no one. Meanwhile, Kid Track going to be able to take down Jibe from the side. I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> I mean, they are clutching it out right now. Yeah. And there we go with the raw. Nice little cast coming out from Jibe. Kid Track still just kind of being the uh, the bigger right clicking non carry at the moment, though, and just fighting up with Jibe here. That is hilarious. Kid Track just takes the guy out. Just everything just feels like it's, you know, connecting. Seb even goes like the <laughs> casual Vlads. Thompson just diving even Flex. deeper. Oh my god, he gets it with the RP. That's gonna be a death. Even with like the pump fakes, this kind of draft. ICB, they're all about slowing down, all about positioning, all about making sure their TV can hit those critical targets, and that's gonna be real tough. Supreme is taking on the front lines right now, Nande as well. No one jumping in, just throwing out those. Oh my god, Kid Track taking so much damage from those bombs at the moment. Whereas Thompson, he's waiting on the sidelines here, but he has been seen, so no blink available. As in comes a curse out onto the PL. He oh, gets the real a real heal? one. How did he find him? I have no idea, but is it going to matter? The heal's coming out from Aramis as well, just making absolutely sure they're not going to bring it down to the up. He comes out onto Nande. Nande, he's gone. And that, just like that, their chance of winning the fight look very slim indeed. No one, once again, just being healed up. I mean, sure they've got the chance onto him, but once again, Kid Track just nails him with yet another spear. The impetus is just doing absolute work and make it a five man team wipe. And ITB just get destroyed in this pit. This is going to be the Aegis that really puts ITB in the uncomebackable position. I don't know if that's even a true word, it is but now, my, it now is. <laughs> Add it to 20,000. So go over and talk Yeah, there we go. I'm going to Google it after game. Uh, Uncombackable. Oh. Uncombackable it is. By golly gosh, it's over. It's done. Wow. <laughs> you put up the big words and they call GG.